What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to cover how you can get your YouTube dislike counts back while you're watching videos. Now on November 10th, 2021, Google pretty much announced that they would be removing the YouTube dislike count from all the videos on YouTube. Now, if you go and look at a couple of videos, you'll see that the like the dislike button is there, but they're slowly removing it from the platform and basically making it private. So the creator is the only one that can see the dislike counts for a particular video. Now I have my thoughts on them actually removing the dislike button, but who am I? I'm just a small YouTuber on here using this platform to actually make videos and put information out there. But a group of people actually came up with a way to fix this by returning the YouTube dislike count back to the video. And I wanted to show you guys how to install this extension. It's super cool. It will work on Firefox as well as Chrome. It's basically a web extension that you will install and it will return the dislike count back to the videos that you're watching on YouTube. So let's hop over to the website. I wanted to go down and show you guys the actual application and then show you guys how to actually install it in your browser so you can see your dislike count come back. So let's get started. Okay, so this is one of the reasons I really love open source software. The collaboration that you get when creating a open source software or a piece of open source software is excellent. And you can collaborate with people all over the world. And that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys this. This is the actual website for it. I have the link down in the description of the video. This is where you can actually get the browser extension for Chrome as well as Firefox. But I want to read a little bit about it. Uh, let me just go to the frequently asked questions uh, just to show you guys where they're actually getting the data from. And basically where they're getting the data currently is from the YouTube API, which will be cut off in a couple of weeks. But what they'll be doing is capturing the data from people that actually use this application or extension to continue to track the dislikes of videos. So it won't be 100% accurate, but it will be close depending on how many people are actually using this extension to gather all the information and cache it in their own API. Now, let me actually click right here so you guys can actually see it says combination of Google API data and scraped data. We save all available data to our database for it to be available after Google shuts down dislike counts in their API. And it says video dislike count doesn't update. Right now, video dislikes are cached and aren't updated very frequently. So that's one thing about this extension. It gets its updates every two to three days and they cache the information based on the videos that you're watching or videos that other people are watching. But then it says uh, once in two to three days, not more often, yeah. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Working on improving how often we can update them. And if we go down here, it says, how does it work? So this explains how it works. It says the extension collects the video ID of the video you're watching, fetches the dislikes and other fields like views, likes, etc., using our API. If this is the first time the video is fetched by our a API, it will use the YouTube API to get the data, then store the data in a database for caching. Cache for around two to three days and archiving purposes and return it to you. The extension then, then displays the dislikes to you. Now, the problem with this is that any new videos that come out after the API is shut down by YouTube, it won't really have anything to go off of except for the history of how the channel actually performs. So I think the information will be kind of made up and based on history more than anything. But currently, this is a fix that will at least last until they cut off the API. But historical videos or videos that have been on YouTube for a very long time, that information will be cached. I just don't think it'll have an accurate dislike number moving forward once the API is actually shut down. 
And let's read what they actually say, but that's my thoughts. It says the back end will switch into using combination of archive, yeah, archive dislike stats, estimate extrapolations from extension using da user data and estimates based on view like ratio for videos who disliked, whose dislikes weren't archived and for outdated dislike archives. And then on this page, they do have the install instructions, which is very simple. It's just like installing any uh, extension within your browser. But I also wanted to show you guys the GitHub because with open source software, you know, you can view the source code. You can actually see everything about the actual application itself. And also they have basically the same information from the website where they break it all down. And you can also contribute if you have the skills to actually help expand this application and make it a whole lot better now let's go ahead on and install this within the browser so we can see how it actually works so i basically pulled up youtube and this is a video just a random video that's trending right now it says uh shaquille o'neal goes sneaker sh sneaker shopping with complex but as you can see the dislike button is gone uh and obviously i can't hit it anyway because i'm not signed into my account but I wanted to show you guys what the extension, how the extension actually works. So let's go on and install it right fast. And let's go on and open up the Chrome store. I already have it, you know, popped open, but all you have to do is search return YouTube dislike. And there we go, we can find it. And it's the number one, or it's number one on my list. Uh, but you just click on it and add to Chrome. You know what I'm saying? Add this extension, super simple just like any other you know extension that you add to chrome and now if we go back to this video that i was just showing you guys if we refresh it uh you should see the numbers come back and as you can see there it is so that is the current dislike number uh 234 so it returns it back to your youtube videos well i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below this was all just to show you guys how to return that dislike button back in case you were interested and the install is pretty much the same on firefox so you shouldn't have any issues getting the dislike count back onto your into your browser while watching youtube videos so i hope you guys have a good night and peace